Hello everybody, Chris the Bittersweet here. As promised, I haven't moved a single block since we cut in the, uh, in the last episode. So let's just continue. Oh, and immediately one step forward from the block where we cut and I already see tons of blazes. If I had extended the episode by two seconds, we would have found them. Can we find one that's below us instead of above? There are some nether bricks here. Do you want to get over here now? I, I see them on the camera. Uh, camera. I see them on the map. I don't see them in the world. They might be somewhere inside these structures. Right, let's mine inside them. Well, this is something much better. I don't know what that is. Whoa! What was that? What are you? I have no way of getting die by the way. So. to grab one of them perhaps. destroy him at all. Damage. I think there might have been a shield or something. I don't know. I'm not good at this game. Let's grab some 
buying obsidian here. You know, the right scrap is always good. That was not what we wanted. I don't think these can give place rods. Oh, it is a Minecraft place. Alright. I'm just gonna slash home then. And. Oh, they turn into places when you. Extinguish them. Cool. Right, we're gonna need books. We're gonna need books and quills. We're gonna need to drop a whole bunch of junk in here. Let's turn these into main tags. Hmm. Actually, I don't know how we can get a little bit. Is that gonna be enough? It's not. Let's grab some coal then. Grab those. Let's see what we have enough mana instead of just trying to guess. Oh, that's not fast enough at all. to wait until you hear him stop eating. Oh, he doesn't take rice. Now we have enough. There we go. From here we can take a bunch of stuff out. We're gonna need it. The Enderman as well. Potions of Leaping. A bunch of enchanted books. We have oh we did have two name tags already. Never mind. Don't think we need to discard off anything else here. Oh, I thought that was those two. Get the rice back in there. Hopefully the Enderman doesn't decide to run away. Good name for a blaze. Johnny obviously, as in Johnny Blaze. Don't like that you can only take out all or nothing. Just in case we get set on fire again. I want to have something to eat. And. Sit with the man. There we go. Hopefully, that will help with a lot of our issues. This one's empty. You can go in there. Oh, 
Hopefully he's not gonna teleport out. Did the Enderman just escape? He did. He is now over there somewhere. Let's chase after him then. I'm not sure how we're gonna keep an Enderman tied down. If I have to build him a cell, I will. Come here, Sippy. I think that was just because he was mad at us. So for now, I am gonna build him a cell. They're gonna need that sound to disappear. There we go. Gonna look ugly for now, but I'll figure something out. I don't think it's a firework rocket blast. I don't think it's a generic explode. he called again sentry I think it was we're just gonna have to live with that noise for now empty this out of course I'm just out of range Okay, now that we have all of these, do we have enough blaze rod for an enchanting table? Oh, we don't need blaze rods for that. But we do need a book. And then Botania has a gold pillar, pylon, gold mana pylon just need two diamonds let's make sure these really turn into yep mana diamonds And these will now count as two bookshelves for the purpose of enchanting. And I'm just gonna slap this over here-ish. One there, one there, and you here. And we can now see, we can get up to 11.30. However, we do not have enough experience for that. We check XP. 
We do have like 300 expetrified ores. I don't need that many. So let's just consume one of them. Sound is gonna get annoying quickly. I'm not too worried about being very optimal with levels. I know with vanilla, uh, vanilla I'm starting, and I know I just complained about not being able to take out level by level in this book. But. We went from 74 to 72. So if we just make a bunch more XP tones, if we have what we need for that, I mean, we're gonna need books, but we're gonna need lots of that anyway. Let's just make two more. That should have plenty storage. Can we use this for anything? Nope. Isn't there an experience drain we can make? There is. If we get ourselves a singularity tank. I know I just said I wouldn't bother with it. I am gonna bother with it anyway. our last base road, I think. That was our last ender pearl. Alright, I'm just making a mess of this. Are we lucky enough that we grabbed one for the abdomen here? Let's just wait with that one then. And we're just gonna go ahead and enchant anyway. We want the mana stuff. So, magical protection. Let's take all of them off. And we're gonna need plenty of lapis. <coughs> because you got reactive. Unbreaking, not too interesting for something that can't break. Protection. Yeah, let's go for that. Protection, Death Rider and Soul Bunch. That's nice. Fire protection. <laughs> you know we're gonna need that. Ooh, no more mining speed penalty when off the ground. And this one has another fire protection for. I don't know if they stack, but I'm gonna grab it anyway. So now everything except the chest is soul bound. And it does look like, yes, Vanilla has fixed that stuff with the don't want magnet on you, please. This one should. Oh no, that one can't have holding. But I know we can enchant. should have reset this one. Sharpness sounds a lot better. Sharpness and I'm breaking on an unbreakable tool again. Can you get holding? You cannot. Uh, I do know you can. Good though. 
Anything else in here? Holding four. This one should now deal a lot more damage. And do we want to get that bow as well? I think we do. We need a sword stem block, manipulation, and a block of gold. Store, but we do need a bow. Preferably one that's not damaged already. There's our bow. Before we put the spell on him, let's see if we can get. Don't want quick draw. Let's grab our books done. Frost. Wonderful. Soul bound. Piercing is a nice one. We might actually just manually enchant. Which is not bad, I think. Soul Stealer 4, that's nice. We're gonna need that later, I think. Yeah, let's go with Power 3. And it only gave us Power 3. <laughs> right. Uh, let's drop off our other enchants. We do want. We don't want piercing, don't want protection or permafrost. Uh, okay. Bailing permafrost, protection, multi shot is only for the crossbow. This can go on anything but that soul bound trap and one crew shot accuracy and speed. Let's go for that one. my books back because there is one enchant I absolutely need on all of my bows and that would be the infinity the 
efficiency, efficiency, sharpness. Always fun. Power smite. I know there is another way to get infinity. I'm just hoping to get it here because it's easier to use the blacksmith table for that. So nice. Holding permafrost, permafrost. We're almost out of levels here. No, there was one here we wanted. Bronze, true shot, that's it. And then the mana stuff for one of the pieces of armor. goes in there, our true shot goes in here, and we cannot apply that, okay? That is one way around. Oh, just doesn't want it, okay. Armor pieces, chest can get mana regen, and chest can get mana boost. Go. And you can get some of this back. Of course, there are monsters nearby in my mob spawner. That should be far enough away. Let's save these two in here for now. And then we can prepare for the next episode where I want to get us to an end portal. Yes, we do get ender pearls. Perfect. Do we get any nice enchants here? I mean. It would be nice if I could get just, you know, just the power on this, perhaps. What do we already have? On? We have power. <laughs> okay. But let's grab them anyway. We're gonna put all of that in our storage.
Right. I have a few minutes left of this episode, so let's see if we can find how we can make infinity. Isn't there a Tinker's Infinity? Or is there a way we can just plain up create the book? The Festus smithing I think is quite far down the line. I don't even know how to make the Festus Forge. I think it's just luck of the draw. Uh, it wasn't thermal, it's tinker. Alright, let's see if we have the eccentric tone. Construct Venus smelting materials in you, plastic foundry. All right, tools, armor, materials, upgrades. Here we go. So, can we search? We cannot. Firing, uh, sweeping edge. There's one, there was one for uh, infinity. Apparently not. All right then, let's put you back to the extent, uh, the war notebook. And I guess we're just gonna stock up on arrows. Okay. Two of them here. Do we have any quiver, perhaps? That's for the bus saw. That's to imbue arrows. That's to increase. Uh, I mean, that sounds fun. We get crystallized amber. Probably not. All right. I only have one more thing to do this episode then, and that's figuring out what spell we want on it. I'm thinking this will be used a lot against airborne enemies. So there is one called something like wind or swiftness or something. I might not have unlocked it actually. Any linger wind shear. Yeah. We're gonna want the iron sword for that one. Iron sword. One. few blocks away hopefully we won't hear that guy again spell number 10 so we want wind chair we probably don't want to snare him because it won't affect the ender dragon anyway 
So do we just want to harm? Just maximum harm, perhaps. Yeah, I think so. Instead of snare harm, this is gonna be called share harm. Create place you on the table. Shift right click with you. Spell is now set. And we can't see the base stats on this one. We do have some mobs over here, I think. Oh, there's one in the sea. Yep, that's quite good. Right, next episode we'll uh, pay a visit to the end. I will probably go ahead and find the end city, uh, not end city, the end fortress off camera, because that will be more of what you've seen in the past two episodes, just exploring, except it's gonna be the overworld instead of the nether. But I, um, I will explore the fortress with you guys in the next episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. Have a good one.